Thanks to the state's varied environment, rich history, and iconic city of Detroit, the most popular tourist spots in Michigan cater to a wide range of interests. There are countless options for individuals who want to appreciate nature, particularly around the Great Lakes coasts, where you may find freshwater dunes and inland coastal habitats. With our list of the top tourist attractions in Michigan, you'll find more things to see and do in the state, from the city's bright lights to the Great Lakes. Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore and Lake Michigan the Beaver Island Archipelago and the Manitou Islands are two of the lake's islands that are well-liked by tourists. The Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore, which is well-known for its huge dunes located on headlands along the seashore, includes the Manitou Islands. The Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive, which runs 7.5 miles down the coast, and the park's numerous hiking trails make it one of the most popular in the state. Pictured Rocks National Seashore the boulders in Pictured Rocks National Seashore on the southern coast of Lake Superior are colored by manganese oxide, iron, and copper. There are dunes, cliffs, beaches, and rocky shorelines in this region of the world. With inland lakes and rivers, the interior is forested. The main reasons people come here to explore the outdoors are to go hiking, camping, and boating. Snowmobiling, snowshoeing, and cross-country skiing are all permitted in the area throughout the winter. Grand Island National Recreation Area is an island nearby that is well-liked by outdoor enthusiasts. The Henry Ford, Dearborn Three attractions that make up that the Henry Ford jointly exhibit not only the life and work of the legendary automaker but also the breadth of American invention. Working farms, a restaurant serving food from the 1830s, and a train depot where you may ride a steam-powered engine are some of the points of interest. The Ford Rouge production tour enables guests to observe the inner workings of an automobile factory and learn more about the technology and ideas that go into contemporary vehicles for a glimpse at the most cutting-edge marvels of creation. Detroit Zoo The Detroit Zoo boasts an excellent collection of species from all over the world in a variety of settings. From aardvark to zebra, African animals can be found in either forest or grassland habitats. The John Ball Zoo, one of Grand Rapids' top attractions, includes a wide variety of unique animal interaction options. The Binder Park Zoo in Battle Creek also offers a historic train ride and a wilderness tram across its African savanna habitat. <music> Belle Isle Park, Detroit The Belle Isle in Detroit is a large park with a lot of attractions. It is located in the Detroit River. The Belle Isle Aquarium, the nation's first aquarium, is a favorite among families. It is located in a landmark structure from 1904. Another well-liked destination is the 13-acre Anna Scripps Whitcomb Conservatory, which is situated next to the Lilu Pond and the Formal Gardens. One of the nation's oldest conservatories is this one. The impressive James Scott Memorial Fountain, a giant slide, the Belle Isle Golf Course, and the Belle Isle Boathouse are just a few of the several additional attractions on Belle Isle. The Detroit Yacht Club is located on Belle Isle. Kichitiaikipi, Manistique Kichitiaikipi is a distinctive freshwater spring that may be found in Michigan's central Upper Peninsula's Palms Brook State Park. The local Chippewa refer to this water as the mirror of heaven because it is so clean and stunningly blue-green. Visitors can board a covered observation vessel with an open center that is wheelchair accessible and offers unrestricted views of the aquatic life below. Palms Brook State Park provides bathrooms and a concession area with picnic tables and grills for public use. Nearby Indian Lake State Park borders Lake Michigan. It contains a beach, a boat launch, hiking paths, a campground, and more picnic tables and facilities. Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum This museum, which is open annually from May 1 to October 31, is filled with items recovered from ancient wrecks along Lake Superior's Shipwreck Coast, an 80-mile stretch of treacherous shoreline that claimed many lives. One of its most well-known casualties is the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, and the museum features its recovered bell. The Whitefish Point Light Tower, the oldest continuously working lighthouse on Lake Superior, is included in museum admission. Additionally open to tours are the 1923 Surfboat House and the 1861 Lightkeeper's Quarters, both of which have undergone a complete restoration. <music> 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 Mount Rushmore, 
Mackinac Island. Before cars and buses, Mackinac Island provides a glimpse into history and a simpler way of life. A boat can be used to travel to the island, where visitors can spend the day exploring the historic town stores, riding around in a horse-drawn carriage, hiking, or seeing Fort Mackinac. The Mackinac Bridge, which was inaugurated in 1957, linked St. Ignace in the Upper Peninsula with Mackinac City in the Lower Peninsula. It was one of the world's longest suspension spans and it removed the traffic jam caused by automobiles waiting for ferries to cross the straits. Many fascinating and unique objects from the construction of the Mighty Mac can be found in the Mackinac Bridge Museum. Detroit Institute of Arts The Detroit Institute of Arts is renowned for its vast collection of artistic creations by people from the ancient civilizations up to the present. There are more than 65,000 pieces of art in more than 100 galleries, representing artists from all over the world. While in the area, visitors should stop by the Detroit Public Library to admire its stunning architecture and then proceed a short distance down Woodward Avenue to the Detroit Historical Museum, which is devoted to the fascinating history of the Motor City and its emergence as not only an industrial hub but also the origin of the legendary Motown sound. Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park Visitors can appreciate the fusion of art and nature in a variety of settings at the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. Traditional foliage, a kid's garden that promotes interaction with its unusual plants, a butterfly maze, and a tranquil Japanese garden with twin waterfalls are among the outdoor gardens. The farm garden is part of the 1880s farmhouse, which is a copy of Lena Meyer's original residence. Visitors can marvel at the transformation of monarch butterflies from caterpillar to delicate bug in March and April at the Lena Meyer Conservatory, a five-story tropical setting that is home to many rare and exotic plants. Al Royale National Park Al Royale is a small island in northwest Lake Superior not far from the Canadian border. This 432-square-mile island, which was shaped by Ice Age glaciers, is home to numerous lakes and streams, thick woods, and a wide range of species, including wolves, foxes, moose, otters, ospreys, herring gulls, falcons, and more. Those seeking a secluded wilderness experience are drawn to this area of the country since it is comparatively undeveloped. The park can best be explored by boat tours and hiking routes. The island can only be reached by boat or seaplane. The traditional starting points for trips are Grand Portage, Minnesota, or Houghton, or Copper Harbor, Michigan. <music> University of Michigan, Ann Arbor 2,800 acres make up the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. The University of Michigan Museum of Art, University of Michigan Museum of Natural History, and Kelsey Museum of Archaeology, all of which have significant holdings relating to Mediterranean civilizations, are important campus attractions. There are many enjoyable and intriguing things to do in and arbor outside of the university. The Mathay Botanical Gardens is one of these and situated off campus. The Nichols Arboretum is situated close to the main campus. Fort Mackinac. Located in Mackinac City, Michilimackinac was a French fur trading settlement and military stronghold that existed from 1715 to 1781, when fire nearly completely destroyed it. The location, also known as Fort Mackinac, is now home to 14 completely restored and historically accurate buildings, including the oldest building in Michigan. There is a children's area intended to engage young historians in learning about life in the 18th century, as well as the option for visitors to wander at their own or select a guided tour. Windmill Island, Holland Windmill Island, a 36-acre heritage park dotted with groomed flower gardens and Dutch structures, is one of Michigan's most picturesque locations. 175,000 tulips bloom in the park in May, while annual blooms take over the vast gardens in June. The Deswan Windmill, which dates to the 1760s and was transported from the Netherlands in 1964, is among the highlights. The windmill, which is the only genuine Dutch windmill shipped to America and is 125 feet tall, is a representation of the Dutch heritage of this region.